we launch MSG3 to make sure that we ensure continuity in a service which is critical to our users and to the med services in particular. Uh, we have two Meteosat second generation satellite already in orbit. The first one was launched in 2002, uh, has exceeded its design lifetime, and uh, we have well, the probability of failure is increasing, and we know we have some single point of failure. We have lost some redundancy uh, on the spacecraft, which is normal uh, given the long uh, lifetime in orbit. So we need to, to launch a replacement, and this would be MSG3. Why is it so important for our users? Uh, it's very simply simple to understand. Uh, geostationary imagery is critical to see how fast uh, severe weather is developing. And this is a sort of critical input to what I would call the last chance forecast. You know, uh, when it's real-time information, you get data every 15 minutes, and it's critical for the forecaster to appreciate how a critical situation may develop. So we have two spacecraft in orbit, as I said. One, currently Meteosat 8, is used to image Europe every five minutes, so to look at the most uh, subtle details of uh, Europe. And the other one is scanning, imaging the full disk, uh, and, uh, to, and we can extract uh, images which are used also in Africa, but also uh, we could extract unique products which are used to feed numerical weather prediction models. For instance, uh, wind, wind maps, there are no techniques available now to uh, observe winds from space except geostationary imagery because you can correlate the, the several images 15 minutes apart and look at how the clouds, the, the displacement of clouds and extract the winds from this information. And this is quite unique. Climate monitoring is absolutely required because what is at stake is to construct long consistent climate data series. So, and it's particularly important to have overlap between one satellite and the next in a series to have cross calibration and to make sure that you can actually through reprocessing produce this long and consistent data series, what we call climate records.